Euronews journalist Mohammed al Hami has been filming in Benghazi. He visited an abandoned military base that fell into the hands of anti-government supporters two weeks ago. It took the rebels five days to achieve their goal, with the loss of numerous lives. Our reporter met one of those who took part in the assault. We stayed for five days, going backwards and forwards. We kept coming back, checking things out. The battalion continued to kill people. As we advanced, they kept killing, so we stopped. Other people living elsewhere heard about this and came and joined us. They weren't happy to hear that local people were dying, he says. In the basement of the military camps are prisons and stocks of weapons. The rebels released the prisoners they found. One young man told Euronews how proud he was of the victory over the soldiers. It's the most important battalion in Benghazi. Everything is there in the battalion. You see those stocks of arms there? When Gaddafi used to come, he would go straight to the battalion. The casualty list in Benghazi was long. More than 250 people killed and more than 2,000 injured. Our correspondent says with the fall of the Al Fadil battalion, the whole city fell into the hands of the rebels. The base was often visited by Gaddafi, which explains the level of the destruction here.